Hello and welcome to Access DNR, the video newsletter from the Maryland Department of Natural Resources. In this episode, we recycle a bit of holiday cheer, enjoy successful winter fishing, make a big splash for charity, and more. I'm Greg Bortz, your host for this edition of Access DNR. We begin this episode at Tuckahoe State Park, where staff are bringing new life to discarded Christmas trees by using them as a windbreak for captive birds of prey. After the holidays, donors are encouraged to bring their trees to park headquarters, where they will be staged for later use. When enough have been collected, park staff and members of the Maryland Conservation Corps drag them to the aviary and stand them up along its fence line. Inside, animal ambassadors look on as more and more trees are added, creating a wonderfully effective natural barrier to protect them from winter's chilly winds. Donations for this season are no longer being accepted, but mark your calendars for next year and don't forget to make arrangements with the park. Next up, the early bird may catch the worm, but only the early cameraman catches up with the waterman. We join a commercial fisherman for a pre-dawn run along Marshy Hope Creek to gain insight on hook and line targeting of large invasive blue catfish. As the sun comes up, Chunks of fresh mud shad are prepped and the leftovers ground into chum to better attract the day's quarry. Soon enough, lines go tight, their circle hooks set themselves, and fish after fish come over the rails and into monstrous coolers, somehow barely large enough to hold the beasts. Though winter months can be better for chasing larger individuals, the unlimited harvest of all blue catfish is open to both commercial and recreational fishermen year-round. Later in January, we set out for Ocean City's Roland Powell Convention Center as it hosted the Mid-Atlantic's only Commercial Fishing Expo. This year marked the 46th East Coast Commercial Fishermen's and Aquaculture Trade Exposition, attracting attendees from Maine to Florida. Throughout the event, the department's e-reporting with facts program staff were on hand to promote the program, demonstrate its use, and answer questions for expo attendees. Facts short for Fishing Activity and Catch Tracking System, is a voluntary, real-time online harvest reporting option developed in partnership with Maryland Commercial Watermen and customized to meet their specific needs. For additional information on the program, please check out the department's website or send an email to customer service. For this month's last recap, we traveled to the wintry shores of Sandy Point State Park for a wildly successful fundraising effort. Now in its 24th year, the famous Polar Bear Plunge has grown to become a week-long, action-packed event. The Natural Resources Police are always on hand to provide event safety, rescue divers, and patrol boats. And several officers also get personally involved, joining in with their law enforcement colleagues to make a plunge of their very own. Governor Larry Hogan also lent a hand, offering the crowd a heartwarming, inspirational memory of a Special Olympics athlete who'd made a big impact upon him. Moments later, the countdown came and it was time to run down the beach and into the icy waters of the Chesapeake Bay. With great sacrifice comes great reward. This year's police plunge raised more than $275,000 for Maryland's Special Olympics. Our sincere gratitude to all of our participating officers and indeed to everyone who contributes to this wonderful event. Well, that's a wrap for this month. For the latest news and programs, please follow us on social media, subscribe to our magazine, newsletters, and YouTube channel, and download our free mobile app. Please give us a like, leave us a comment, and don't forget to share our videos with family and friends. I'm Greg Bortz. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next month on Access DNR.